Hey y'all, fun time here. So I'm finally back after 10 days, basically. So yeah, I'm back. Let's get into it. All right, so for people wondering why I was gone for so long, like 10 days-ish, um, unmotivated, house is loud, I can't control that, so like, it's gonna have to stay like this for now, honestly, like, if you hear any background noises, just ignore it, it's not that important, so don't worry about it, I cannot control it, trust me, I can't, it's just way too loud in this house, I might do voiceovers if I need to, but yeah. Alright, first update of the matter. I have displayed all my Funko Pops currently. Even Circus Foxy, he's up there now. But yeah, all my Funko Pops are displayed. I even have a two pack and the Foxy, um, what's this? Flock Foxy Pop and Tea Bundle down there. If the arcade vinyl is at the bottom, I need to unbox, um, my duplicate Jack or Chica because, like, you know, she's a duplicate. Like, I can, d I have two of the, I have two of those thanks to Moxie. Um, not only that, I'm probably going to have to make another room for my FNAF merch, honestly. Because, like, I got a lot now, and it's really kind of getting kind of iffy, because this is the last Funko shelf, and Sanshi, if you want to count that too. Alright, the last thing I need to do is display Ruin, but I want to, you know, at least review them first before I display them. So it's a lot easier, and so I don't have to go back and, you know, like, take them out after everything's already displayed and stuff. I know it's kind of lazy in some parts, but at the same time, like, it's reviewed, it's reviewed, basically. Unless you want to redo the review, like, re-review, like I do sometimes. I do plan to review the whole tie-dye wave again. Not not sure when, but I will probably do it during the Jazzwares launch. Eventually, this whole Lego shelf is going to be turned into um, shoulder riders for FNAF. Like, this will just be all be shoulder riders. FNAF 1 is going over where, where FNAF 1 shelf is. Secure Breach will just have Vanny, Sun, and Moon, the original ones. For Secure Breach, I'll show them in a second. This will be all in the miscellaneous, and I can fit some over here and here. I don't know where to put the YouTube's plushies, though, because, like, um, can't really display anything downstairs, because, you know, like, um, if, you, if you've been here for a while, you know there was a lot of leaking happening, because, happening, like, mold would appear on the plushies, having to shadow Freddy. For, luckily, I was able to get it off of hot water. Shout out to, shout out to Jane the Derg, you know, dot mp3. They gave me suggestions, and I listened to them, so, like, yeah, they helped me out, so I'm gonna give a shout-out to them. Alright, off topic, so, yeah. I have the shoulder riders over here that are, you know, more of the whole Secure Breach lineup. I have a good stuff Chica in the back, because, like, there's nowhere else to put her, but she fits, so that's good. And right here is where all the shoulder riders will be. I'll have, like, Freddy and the Cupcake where they are currently, and they will not be changed out. I'll put Freddy... Flop Freddy, Bonnie, Chica, Foxy, and then Golden Freddy. And that should fit all of them over here. Hopefully. It's just going to be two Freddies. Bonnie, Chica, Foxy, Golden Freddy. You know Golden Freddy's exactly the same metallic color as his original counterpart, which is really unfortunate. Alright, FNAF 2 wise, um, nothing much really has changed. I just added some. These two are Swamp Fire. This is Harley Quinn. And these two are Golden Freddy and the Puppet pop, pop boxes from the 10 year anniversary. These two are down here. Puppet and Golden Freddy. These two are Swamp Fire and this is Harley Quinn. Just want to just point that out. It's not very too... I have like duplicates of these so it's fine. I have duplicates of these too. I just don't have duplicates of Harley. And plus, you know, everything's displayed at the moment so I'm not going to really take that down. Alright, so a lot of you are wondering. Why has this been here? So... Um, this contains all my Benton action figures at the moment. If I open this up, hopefully it doesn't stink, because it had, like... Okay, no, it doesn't stink good. Okay, so... I placed all my Benton action figures in great value bags, because, like... Well, at least all the original series up to Omniverse into plastic bags, due to many reasons. Chipping, chipping, fading, etc. These things chip really easily. Albedo's pretty expensive. He's like UK exclusive. But yeah. So 
I don't know if I'll be reviewing these. I might just do a collection, like, you know, overview, honestly, and just take all these out. I'm not entirely sure yet. I do want to branch out, but I don't think Ben 10 reviews are the way anymore. Because, like, they've been out for a while, and there's really not any new Ben 10 merch besides the U2s that might be coming out. But even then, like, that's still, like, going to take a year to ship, basically. So they just reside in here. I know I need to vacuum it again. But, yeah. These bins are from Walmart, if you're interested. Alright, since Curse of Dreadbear came first, I'm just gonna, you know, like, um, go over the minuscule updates. So, basically, over here is where I have the Funko Pops, of the Core 4 plus the Cupcake, then we have the, um, YouTube's behind them, being in box for now, until I get more room, and then we have the reversible heads of Freddy Bonnie and Chica Nightmare versions, two pops of there of Jack O'Bonnie and then Glow and Dark Nightmare Freddy. Then the whole Curse of Dreadbear wave, besides Glitch Trap, because he won't fit in here. This shelf is way too small if I zoom out. Then over here with Secure Breach, I did something more basic with this, because, like, I don't have a full set to display these yet, but these are the FNAF. Um, what's this called? They're FNAF Danglers. Well, I don't... Yeah, they're Plush Danglers. FNAF Plush Danglers for Security Breach. And I have some, you know, just random... Like, it stayed mostly the same. Just went to craftables down here so it has a little bit more, you know, so it's a little bit more fluid. Black lights are behind them, not on their boxes anymore, but for the whole security breach lineup. Okay, since it's nighttime outside, it shouldn't really matter. It really shouldn't matter. So we have the Freddy Pill Pet, the Fredbear Plush from Sanshi, and then the FNAF Hex Puppet from the Puppet from Parts and Service. Hex collaboration, and we have, you know, Rockstar Freddy, two lefties, Radioactive Foxy, Vanny, and then Blacklight Vanny. Freddy, F Freddy Pillipet is there tempor temporarily until I get Glitch Trap. Then the two cupcakes are over here, the good one and the mid one, basically the cupcake from, you know, U2s and Funko. And yeah, it's practically it. This whole shelf has stayed the same. Everything in there is, has stayed the same. The only thing different about it is because, like, um, the Fanverse wave. Down there, if it's a little focus. Um, yeah, Fanverse way down there, it's just nothing has changed. All of these shells have nothing has changed that much, honestly. And last but not least for updates, we have Holiday Bonnie Jumbo Plush. I need to review him and also make a haul video on him and Golden Freddy. That's a duplicate. But at the same time, Golden Freddy's already displayed, so I'm not going to really show him off because, like, you know... Because, like, I already got them out of the box and stuff like that. And I already made a haul, basically, on them. So, there's no really point in showing that. I will do a haul on Bonnie, then I'll make a review. Yeah, but, yeah, this is just, like, a generic shelf. This is, like, newer or older type of Walmart ones. I'm not entirely sure. I think it's a newer type. Or it's a very old type. Because they have, like, things at the bottom where they can stand up better and it doesn't interfere with the wall or anything so i don't know but yeah i'll wrap it up for today thank you all so much for watching like comment and subscribe if you're interested and yeah bye thank you so much